all this filament, an empty printer, let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday suggestion comes from subscriber JMAP Science. It's a T-Rex shower head submitted on Thingiverse by user JM Schwartz 11. So I loaded the .stl file into XYZWare and I use it on a Mac so it may look a little different than what you have and it looks like a nice print. It's got a lot of nice features so I hit export I chose 0.3 for a layer height and a 20% fill and then I checked supports clicked export and let this thing slice and when it was done it verified it was 0.3 0.2 layer but 10 hours to print and 73 meters so then I sent it off to the printer And the print is finally done. I think that took about 10 hours to print. So let's see how it turned out. Not too bad, it looks like. Interesting. On the bottom, it looks like it got burned or something. I've never seen that before. I wonder if that's going to be hard to break away. But you can see the dinosaur head. It just there's a lot of support to take off. Wonder how that compares. Here's the original from previous filament Friday. It's about the same. Looks like a similar finish, although this is the the nature or natural. So it's more of a bone color. So I guess it looks more like uh, bones. And I printed this one at 0.3, and I don't remember what I printed this at. I think it was 0.3 as well. It looks a little bit smoother at spots, although there's a little separation, like right in the, right here, kind of a big gap, which I don't see on this one. And there's a gap down here. So... I don't know, this is going to be interesting to see how this how this does because the shower head, which is right here in the center, has a lot of support in the, in the middle. And it looks kind of melted, so I hope I can screw this onto the faucet. That's if I can't do that, the whole test is or the whole print is a waste. But overall, pretty cool. Alright, I'll get to work taking off the supports. Okay, so I got all that support taken off and there really were two issues. One, while I was pulling off the support, the jaw broke. And I think it was right at one of the separation lines that I talked about because this thing just broke away with very little force. So I think it was, it wasn't really solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 100% acetone, which is just nail polish remover, but 100% acetone version. And I'll just brush some on and then I'll glue this in place. The other issue I had is the bottom of this clearly got too hot on the bed. And I have never seen this before. So this is, this is really a mystery to me what happened. But it clearly crystallized the bottom of this thing. And the shower head portion kind of melted. So it's, it's really screwed up at the bottom. So to hopefully make this fit onto the shower head pipe... I used an X-Acto knife to, to carve out the worst of it. Then I took this finishing tool that I showed in previous videos because this thing pivots and works well with holes. And I just kind of carved around it to make almost like a funnel shape. So hopefully this can slide over the pipe and then the pipe can dig into the threads that are further inside this thing. There's clearly pipe threads inside. I can see them. I just don't know if it's if the pipe's going to be able to get over this this first portion here because it's it's really 
really messed up. So that's that's strictly a problem with the, the printer here. It's got nothing to do with the design, the slicing. Just something went wrong in the, the temperature on the bed. And like I said, I've never seen that before. So I'm going to be curious about that in the future. So let me just glue this on. And all I do is I take, I poured some in the cap. So I'll just put a whole bunch on, just dab it on there. Just so it softens up that plastic. Then I'll put some on the jaw itself. So it's almost dripping. And I'm just using a brush that I got in a pack of 24 at Harbor Freight. So they're really cheap, so I can just throw it out when I'm done. And then I'll just set it on there, try to line it up as best I can. Put a little pressure on it. And it's getting already getting gooey and sticky. Looks like I got it pretty close. Yep, and it's, it's, it's holding its own. So I'll just let that harden, and then I'll take this up to a shower head and see if I can get it to fit. I'm sure I'm going to have to do a little more carving. But hopefully I can get this to screw onto the shower head, into the threads. I mean, it is plastic after all, so it should be easier to cut into the threads and see if this thing will spray. I held it up to the light to see if I could see through the holes that are in the shower head portion. And when I hold it up to the light, I could see through. So there was a lot of material to, to pull out of this thing. If I printed it again, I think I'd print it the other way. I don't want to mess this up. I think I'd print it like this. Then I wouldn't get as much in there, and then this pipe thread wouldn't have got mushed down now that I know it. But I'm not going to print another 10 hours to, to do that. I'll make this work somehow. So keep that in mind if you guys want to print one of these. You might want to print it at a different angle or even upside down like that. So just an idea. So let me let this harden and then I'll try it. With a little modification, I was able to get it mounted in our extra bathroom. It had some leaking going on in all directions, but overall it kind of worked. And if it was a better print, it probably would have worked better. So there you have it. It did work. Kind of. I ended up, I could not get this to go on because it was just too messed up. So I used my rotary tool and I actually cut it down to where it was straighter, where it looked better. Turns out though, the threads don't go all the way through. So where I cut it, it only left me with like two threads to screw onto the shaft, the water shaft. So I was get, definitely getting some leaking out of there, but there's also a few leaks coming out the sides. So I think if you print this, you probably want to print this higher than a 20% fill like I did. And especially this section, but an XYZ where you're gonna, you got to do the whole thing. But overall, I was kind of pleased with it. It was kind of cool to watch. And if I did it again, like I said, I'd print it at a different angle so I wouldn't have to to cut a piece off but that's it I'm sure you can get better results learning from my mistakes and I also want to mention I'm going to be making a slight change to filament Friday at the beginning I always say let's print what you want well now it's going to be let's print something so of all this filament empty printer let's print something and the reason I'm changing that is simply this I have things I need to print I've been spending so much time getting these videos prepared and that, that Filament Friday has really become a regular uh, presentation on the channel. So there's times when I want to print something that I'm not getting to print. So sometimes it's going to be what you guys suggest, and then sometimes it's going to be what I want to print. So that's why it's, let's print something. So I hope that doesn't... Uh, make too many people mad and hopefully I print some interesting things. I've got some projects lined up and it's getting busy around here with spring and summer coming. I got a lot of projects that I got to do around the house so it's less time to make the videos and you know on 3D print stuff but I've also got some 3D prints that I want to use around my shop so I'll show you some of that. So that's it. That was Filament Friday for this week. 
If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you have an idea for a future Filament Friday, leave it in the comment section below, a link to the file, or send it to me directly through email. Thanks for watching.